Let us understand how to create partition table and get data into the table using Spark Meta Store. Earlier we have created orders table already. We'll use that as reference and create partition table. We'll be having all the four columns which orders have. Along with that, we also have fifth column called as order month, which will be defined using partition by clause. This is how the syntax will look like. Now when it comes to the structure, the data and the table are different. Our source data have only four columns, whereas our target table have five columns and hence we will not be able to use load command directly to load data into this table. Either we have to use stage table, get the data into the stage table and then run insert command to insert into the partition table or we have to pre-process the files, make sure that files are in sync with the table definition and then we should be able to use load command to load the data into the partition table using files. We will see examples for both at a later point in time. Let's uh, see an example of creating partition tables in Spark Metastore and also we'll review what will happen internally. I am connecting to the ITWatch retail database here, listing the tables. It uh, have only orders, order items and order item stage and hence we can skip this step or we can actually have if not exists, it is if exists while dropping, while creating we can add if not exists. Now we can drop the table, if exists it will be dropped, then we can actually create the table using this command. Everything else is same except for the partition by clause while partitioning the table. This is how we will be able to specify the partition by clause with the column name and the data type. You can also have nested partitions. However, I am not going to cover at this time. Let me create this table. Let us describe the table. You can see that as part of the column list, we got the partition column information. The name is order month and the data type is int. You can also act check the location by using this command you can see that it is empty. However, the table is uh, created using this folder in HDFS. As uh, our warehouse directory is the user iTversity warehouse, you can see it here. And then this is our database folder. This is managed table and we have created this managed table under iTversity underscore retail. This is the folder name pointing to that database. And this is the folder that is created for this table. If you want to get the location, for the created table, you can actually use describe formatted. I am using the spark.sql here to describe formatted because if I just say describe formatted, the SQL magic command will not provide all the information properly. That's why I am using this uh, simple Scala code here. I can actually specify the table name like this and then we can say show 200 false and you can scroll down. You should be able to see the location here. A partition table is also nothing but a folder. When we actually add partitions to this uh, table, you will be uh, having subfolders in this with the uh, partition column name and the corresponding value to it. We will see those details uh, as part of adding partitions to the existing partition table.